the lunar landscape, a dead section of the moon's forbidding surface here on Earth. There's a thousand square miles of this weird scenery, a true wonder of the world, with eroded rocks that look like fairy mushrooms, magnified and often in triplicate. The land of the fairy chimneys, that's what they call this curious place, where once monks came and carved themselves cells in which to live a mystic monastic life. It could only be in Turkey, a motor ride from Ankara, the capital that stands between east and west and shows its ambivalence in its parades. Turkey really is an enigma. From the old-fashioned, you lapse into the unbelievable. For those traditional warriors have their parallel in the Turkish shepherds of today. The darkness of life, the simplicity of it, is unspoilt and undiluted. Tourists haven't yet pushed up these market prices or begun to sap the character of the place or taken the spice out of simple life. Cotton picking here is a family affair and fun. It's gossiping time among the cotton plants that look like roses and spell out profits because this is a sure crop and a key export where there's always the camel caravan to carry it to the cotton seed mill. You'll notice that here you start early learning to take your place in life. Alibaba would understand life here where the flavors of different continents mix. Here is the blue Mediterranean, which belongs to Turkey just as much as it belongs to Italy, Spain and France. Turkey has its Roman remains in bigger profusion than Italy. Turkey has all sorts of surprises, which even run to waterfalls that splash direct into the sea. Yes. Old, eastern-seeming Turkey has her surprises. See that western-looking hotel perched up there? Here, as we say, is where east and west mingle and mix, and there's no place where you see this mix-up more than at Smyrna, now called Izmir. Izmir, or Smyrna, is as mixed up and Middle Eastern as its famous figs. To get the baffling flavor of the place, just drive through the old streets, picking out things that reveal eastern instinct and western influence a Roman background and a new emancipation. Not many veiled women to be seen in this land of minarets, but no consistent degree of sophistication. Move from this market to the view from Izmir's Grand Hotel for contrast. Two worlds meet here in one small city because by the chicest standards that exist, this is one of the best hotels in the world, lush, luxurious and well plumbed. Here you could be in California, in the West, not in the inscrutable East. Turkey is full of anomalies like this unexpected hotel, which American tourists have been quick to discover. You can sunbathe, or you can swim, or if you like, you can watch people diving through a glass panel in the side of the pool. Gracious living indeed, alongside simplicity, such as now you'd seldom find. And for no extra charge, something of an underwater cabaret act by the pool's lifeguard. Bon santé, you say, because this could be the Riviera, with its palm trees and general elegance. And the same applies to the Bosphorus, the narrow waterway that links Russia and the Black Sea with the rest of the world. Come from the west, they say, and this seems oriental. Come from the east, and Istanbul fishing boats look like something you'd find at Marseille. Istanbul bridges east and west in no uncertain terms, retaining her ancient mystery, as you maybe glimpse it in the shape of the Santa Sophia Mosque, once a Christian church. The Galata Bridge, to all intents and purposes, is Istanbul. In time here, you'll see everyone worth meeting in the world, they say. Certainly, you'll find people from north, south, east, and west who are forced to cross the Bosphorus. Not that it's anything of a hardship, because the Bosphorus is unforgettable and delightful. 
Here's where you'll see your dream castle. The Turkish Sultan, Mohammed the Conqueror, built this castle to capture the capital of the Roman Empire, Constantinople, as Istanbul used to be called. Today, it's the vigorous Turkish folk dances that captivate all of us. Yeah. 